Alrighty, it is, we're getting everything situated here for you and all of our graphics together. It's 10.02 here on um, Monday. We're tracking Hurricane Milton this afternoon. The storm uh, expected to intensify uh, even more. It is a Category 4 storm as of the 10 a.m. advisory. That's 100 and 55 mile per hour sustained winds this afternoon. The storm is um, probably going to become a cat five as we head into the uh, next couple of hours. Really, the National Hurricane Center showing this continuing to strengthen. You can see here that the storm is not very big, and that's one of the reasons that this has been intensifying so quickly. Uh, this morning, this pinhole of an eye is showing signs well that it's deepening very, very quickly here. Pressure down to 933. Let's take a look at the latest track. The storm is expected to become that category five as we go throughout today. The intensity will likely remain quite high as we go through uh, tomorrow as well. And then by the time we get into Wednesday, you can see that the storm does begin to well, I don't even want to use the word weekend, but winds go from, you know, 160 to maybe 125 at landfall. So still a life threatening storm landfall somewhere around Tampa Bay Wednesday evening. Now the problem with Milton is while the category may be coming down from a five to a four to a three, the intensity and the surge is still going to be quite a problem. That storm surge still life threatening across the Florida coast here as we go into your um, Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. So that's when the worst of this will be moving into Florida here. Once we get into Wednesday and Wednesday night, you can see zooming in here that center. This is really it can't be overstated how bad this could be for Tampa Bay. Many people alive, almost everyone alive or everyone alive in Tampa right now has never gone through a scenario with the storm making landfall at this trajectory coming right into the coastal areas of Tampa there and causing problems uh, with storm surge. So that's the big problem right now. The National Hurricane Center calling for eight to 12 feet of storm surge uh, that could go up. I wouldn't be shocked with the latest storm being, you know, a category five. If that wind field can really start to expand here, then this is uh, this is definitely worrisome for Tampa and the surrounding areas anywhere south of this high. So remember on the northern side, you get storm surge. We call it negative storm surge because the winds are coming offshore. The worst would be closer to the Bay, Sarasota, and then still quite high all the way down to Fort Myers where they could see five to 10 feet. We're talking life threatening storm surge really all up and down the western side. Anywhere south of Tampa is where that threat seems to be highest right now. And that's why evacuations are being called for some areas. And please heed these warnings because uh, eight to 12 feet of storm surge would be record breaking for a lot of these areas around Tampa Bay. Now that's just one part. Of course, with a hurricane coming in, you're going to have strong winds. We are forecasting a significant wind threat right here, especially along the coast. But with it coming in at this angle, those hurricane force winds will penetrate far enough inland. So even once you get inland here, uh, even Orlando could see damaging wind gusts up to hurricane force are a possibility. So winds aren't going to stop right at the coast. But that's where the worst certainly would be. Uh, you might be wondering why is it taking this weird path? Well, trough low pressure off the East Coast here is going to be pulling it east uh, across the Gulf of Mexico. So that's why it's making this turn. You can see the tight storm there with a small, small eye. Notice how it grows in size as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. This is when we will likely start to see some wind shear and dry air get pulled up into the storm. That means the winds will start to come down. But as the winds come down, the wind field grows in size. And so you just have a larger push of water. So that's why Regardless of a category three, four or five, the storm surge will still be deadly. We've seen this with previous previous storms. You know, we don't talk about Hurricane Katrina and Rita very lightly, especially here in New Orleans. But uh, Katrina is a great example of a storm being a category five a day before landfall. And then once it made landfall, it was a category three, but it wasn't only just a category three. The storm surge was still that of a cat five. So remember this, the category only tells you what the winds are doing. It does not tell you the surge and this has all signs pointing to deadly storm surge anywhere south and um, south of the eye where it makes landfall. So all of South Central Florida here on the western side getting ready for that uh, storm surge, maybe up to 12 feet the way it looks right now. Of course, that could end up being higher uh, if the Hurricane Center sees the need to adjust these numbers. They likely will, but that's the latest. So if you're just joining me once again, the latest on major Hurricane Helene or excuse me, Hurricane Milton, the storm went from a category one this morning to almost a category five. It's sitting at 155 miles an hour. That is 
uh, basically two miles per hour shy of a Category 5 storm. We do think it will be a Cat 5 at any moment. I mean, it just doesn't get any more pronounced than that. A pinhole eye, a tiny eye, a tiny core. It allows these storms to really ramp up very quickly. This is very similar to what we saw with Hurricane Wilma and how quickly it ramped up, if you remember that. That also coincidentally impacted southwest Florida back in the season of 2005. It was also uh, a later season storm like this one. So right now the hurricane itself is going to bring some hurricane conditions to the northern part of the Yucatan later today and into tonight and then it will start to make that northerly turn. We have it making it making northeast movement up through Tuesday into Wednesday. Notice the intensity from a cat four to a cat three, but still that deadly storm surge will continue along the east excuse me, the west coast of Florida as we go into Wednesday afternoon. And Wednesday night will be the worst of it moving into Florida. So that is the latest as of the 10 a.m. advisory. Next full update will be, um, well, the Hurricane Center has been updating it really hourly at this point because the hurricane hunters are in there just finding that it's increasing in intensity hourly. So we will continue to follow that very, very closely. But that is the latest on Hurricane Milton heading to Florida. Landfall going to be there by Wednesday evening. Thanks for joining me.